Well, topping our news at this hour, three people, including two children, were shot near Sanford Avenue and Connor Street on Detroit's east side. We have learned that the man was killed. This is video from the scene that you're looking at right now. The children, a 14 year old boy and a 10 year old girl, had to be rushed to Children's Hospital. Local 4 Sean Lay joins us live now this afternoon. And Sean, let's start with the kids. How are they doing right now? This is just a tragedy. Police are calling uh, the kids' injuries non-life-threatening. They were rushed to the hospital. We'll show you how. Let's also start with exactly what's happening behind me right now. Police task force, a homicide task force all over this case. Investigators huddling live right now behind me in front of the victim's orange BMW you see there. His sister tells me his name is Troy. He's 34 years old. Look at the broken glass right in front of the house. He was putting some kids in a minivan. We're told to take to school this morning, and then a couple of gunmen were hiding, and they ran out and ambushed this man right in the middle of the street. Sources tell local for this was an ambush. Two gunmen dressed in all black, hiding in a vacant home directly across the street from the victim's home this morning. A 34-year-old man, his sister identifies as Troy Sanford, was getting set to take kids to school at 7.30 this morning. Three kids were in this minivan. The two men ran up with high-powered guns and fired a dozen times. Sanford was killed. Two of the kids in the van were hit. How sad is that in this city that it is broad daylight? We have children out here. Um, that's where we need the community to come forward. We need to put it in. We need to put these people away so it doesn't happen again. A 10-year-old girl took a shot in her shoulder shot went in one side and exited the other. A 14-year-old boy got bullet fragments to his face. A 12-year-old boy who was also in the van, he was not injured. Police say the kid's mother ran to that van, jumped in and rushed the kids to Children's Hospital. Kids that are gunshot victims and witnesses to someone close to them being gunned down right next to them. And that's why we are so concerned. We have people that randomly, we have children. These guys ran up, started shooting, have no clue what's going on. We don't know why at this time, have no history, nobody's came forward, and that's what we're looking for is information. Back here live, and that's what's happening right now. Police trying to develop that information. Two major questions remain. Why was this man, Troy, targeted here today in front of those children? And secondly, who pulled the trigger? Two men wanted right now, but the only description police are going with that they have, two men dressed in black, carrying guns, running west here on Sanford. I can tell you, Rev Rod, police found a little bit of home security footage that they're analyzing, but it doesn't show the men wanted in that video right now, but they're still going over it. Back to you. And then such a vague description. Hopefully a neighbor heard or saw something that can help police track these guys down. Sean, thank you.